So we got Curb Stomper going Pikachu versus Vinsanity's Fox. Now, Vinsanity is the number one seed in this pool. And they're going to do hand warmers right now. Okay. I don't remember. Ooh, Vinsanity looks to be like it looks like he's a very technical fox. And from I don't know I don't remember if I saw him play last night, but every every number one seed that's a local player is pretty good. At, so nobody needs to sleep on anyone. Should, should, should I should I unedit scene like so it doesn't move by accident? Yeah, that way I can just like click on it and drag it off the screen. Okay, okay we're gonna see this happen now. Oh, so Curve Stomp's are taking the top platform, but then Vincinetti makes it, Vincinetti makes the first approach. Ooh, this could be the stock? No, he goes for that down air, stops the edge guard. Lasers, lasers, lasers. Careful edge guarding. Oh, that forwarded a lot of damage. Nice back throw. This is probably the stock. Let's see what happens. No, oh, I don't think he's going for a ledge lock there. He's just. Fox has a lot of movement, uh, movement options after he uses up. He can just go left and right really far. Okay. I didn't even notice when Curve Slubber took the first stock. That back to nice back air. Up air. Ooh. Wow, so Cur Curve Slubber taking early, like before before the minute passes, he's already got a two stock lead. Uh nice combo, nice follow up. It, it's this is not I don't think it's gonna lead too much. I mean it's it's a nice forward air, but he needs to kill get rid of that stock at this point. Not good up air. That's exactly what he needed. You can't have Pikachu have too much damage because then he, he just he becomes a lot harder to kill. So now they're back to neutral. You know, Vincenti wants to play a, a more keep away game, play it safer because he, he saw what happens when he gets back thrown off the stage by, by Curve Stomper. Up air, up air. Ooh, weak nair, but it doesn't lead too much. Lasers. Oh, I think I think he gave up too fast on the lasers. But then. Oh, that back throw could. Oh man, up till, up till, yeah, that's, that's, forward till, doesn't recover, right? I think, Curve drops the edge guard, but Vinsanity uh, accidentally does the wrong angle, but, man, Curve Stomper has a, has a pretty solid, I would say a solid lead at this point, and he drops the stock. I mean, fortunately, he had, he had a lot of damage on it, so it's not that bad of a loss, but still, it's, you know, it's not something you want to do any, any time. Ooh, Pikachu just blocks the weak up air. Back air's right into Pikachu's arms. Oh man, Curve Stomper is showing that he knows how to play his matchup. He knows how it's gonna go. And Vincent needs to slow down, get some, get some, uh, get some nice combos on Pikachu, and just play really safe. Ooh, oh that's interesting. I think I think if Curve Stomper had the ex the extended up B right there, even with a single teleport, he would have made it. Those back throws are so solid. Cuff Stomper, no, he's like, yep, come here. I'm right on the side platform. Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Laser me? Oh, oh, that grab was so scary. Insanity playing pusher. Oh, no, you, you can't, you cannot get, at this point, like, Insanity cannot get called by random aerials like that. Up smash is too early. Not enough damage for Pikachu. Solid up air, but... I think it's I think it's uh, stale by now, so he needs he needs to rack up a significant uh, a bit more damage. If you guys have trouble hearing me or listening to what I'm saying, let me know. Oh man, not even a not even a back throw required. Just hits him with some areas and combos him off stage. I want I want to see what oh Vincent's gonna counter pick with Falcon. This if if um if Curve Stomper wins this game, this is gonna be the upset because uh. Curve, Vincenti, I believe, was the number one seed in this pool. 
And Curve Stomper was uh, was afraid of not even making out of pools, but he's uh, he's doing uh, he's doing really well. Okay, so here we go. Here, um, Vin Sandy's gonna play a more ground. You know, his fox was more aerial, but we're gonna see Falcon uh, have to take a more grounded approach versus Pikachu, pulling him out of the air, into the air, and just get him with the standard. That's what you want to see from Falcon. Oh, the platform drop there! Oh, that, that. wow! Immediately showing that that this was the the counter pick to do against Pikachu. Wow, I think the LP went to connect it, but it's, you know it's, it's a smart idea to not you know to play it safe. Don't don't risk anything at this point, especially when you're a game down. And the curve stomper fighting back. He's like, no, no, you're not getting a you're not getting a two stock lead on me. Gets caught by the forward. Oh, that's not enough to get the Pikachu confirmed to a grab. So yeah, there he goes. He's, he, Falcon doesn't want to jump. He doesn't want to jump against Pikachu. He's gonna he's gonna dash back and forth and scare Pikachu into jumping. And that's how Falcon wins a neutral. Wow, the up air, 140% kills. <laughs> Just plops his face on Falcon, hits the ground. Uh oh, uh oh, wow! Here comes the standard. Mmm, that's not. I don't think that's gonna kill. Oh, wow! 99% from the middle of the stage. Curve Stomper needs to. I think this, like this, uh, the roles have certainly switched this time around. Curve Stomper probably needs to slow down a bit. Not, don't run into a lot of falcon grabs and you know he's getting hit by a lot of oh wow insanity's on point this game that, this was a huge turnaround from the first game where oh wow okay he needs to get this game right now he, he ledge jump forward there and that stuff pikachu is that no that's not enough to do the standard and he gets the reverse down here which is, uh, you know, this this matchup looks right now at this point. This this lead looks really hard to pull off a comeback with. But oh, that back air is gonna do it. So here's what's gonna happen. If is Curb Stomper gonna live up to his name and bust out the Kirby against Vincent's Falc? or is he gonna stay confident with Pikachu? Because yep, yep. Let's see the Curb Stomper. Platform drop down air, just immediately six seventy eight percent on Falcon from one touch. That's wow, wow. This is this is the game of the counter picks at the moment. Wow. Up air, up B. That's mm, Falcon can get this edge guard, but it's risky. Mm. Risky edge guard, yeah. This tournament is, uh, is you know, Columbus, Ohio. Oh, the shield pressure! Oh, I think he could have shield broken. He didn't know the up tilt. I think I think he didn't think the up tilt would reach, but I, it definitely would have reached. And Falcon, um, you know, Falcon not not not, not just giving up. He's he's definitely trying to outspace Kirby, get some grabs. Falcon's main tool in this game is gonna be grabs. He's gonna try to get in between the up tilts. And, and grab Kirby because if Falcon can grab Kirby, he can definitely do some serious damage. Like right there, even if Kirby takes on the platform, it doesn't matter because Falcon's really good at tech chasing up there. That forward air has a lot of range, and if you get touched by it, you just get trapped and sucked into the vortex. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, so I think I think Vincenny doesn't know that while Kirby's doing down tilt, he cannot get grabbed at Falcon. So so as long, so Curve Stopper just stood there down tilting because he knows Vincenny has to just simply get out of there. He was trying to go for a grab, but he wasn't gonna hit ever. Ooh, solid back air. Kirby. Ooh, back air? Mmm. Okay, that's that's. I wonder if you could have done more than that, but 
gets him off stage. You want Kirby to be off stage because Kirby's that's where that's his most where he's most vulnerable. Weak up tilt, but doesn't can't capitalize off of it. Good down air, so he turns it around. Rip Sumper trying to get the stock, you know, try to take the, the you know, make it even again. A down tilt's gonna do it, yes. Showing that the hitbox goes way beyond the, the actual foot. Uh oh, what happened? I don't. Wow. That's. Okay, so he's gonna go for this edge guard right here, and the down air spikes him onto the stage. I think Curve Stumper the add, you know, the add onto. Oh, up to up to. This is this is a bad scenario for Falcon. Falcon just needs to get that one grab or or maybe a back here to extend Kirby off stage. Oh, that's so scary. But weaves in there, grabs Kirby, throws him off stage. Down air, good down air. Showing that hitting from the back of down air is the best way to approach Kirby off stage. Back air trades to up to. Ooh, the pressure pressure. He just needs to stay shielding because yeah, Kirby's gonna push him off. Down air. Oh! This could be bad. Okay, no. So, so Vincenti. Ooh! Back throws him off stage. This this could end the game right now. Okay, out throw. Oh, that was so risky, but he, he, it pays off. Forward throw. Both these guys are. They both know that one solid hit is going to end the game. Oh! Damn! That was really close. I think the pause and the lock in the stock right there was. M might have caused some disappointment, but he pulls it off in the end.